Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about Dynamic versus Kinematic Viscosity Difference and Definition What is Viscosity? Viscosity is a basic characteristic property of all liquids. When a liquid flows, it's an inner resistance to flow. Viscosity is a measure of the resistance to flow or shear. Viscosity may also be termed as a drag force and is a measure of the frictional properties of this fluid. Temperature and Pressure Function of Viscosity Though the viscosities of both liquids and gases vary with pressure and temperature, they affect the viscosity in another manner. Within this book, we'll deal primarily with the viscosity of fluids and its change as a function of temperature. Viscosity is expressed in two distinct forms. Dynamic viscosity Kinematic viscosity What is dynamic viscosity? Dynamics of fluid flow is the study of fluid motion, including the forces causing flow. Viscosity, dynamic is defined as the resistance offered to a layer of fluid when it moves over another layer of fluid. Rate of shear stress is directly proportional to the velocity gradient. Dynamic viscosity is flowed the Newton second law, second law as per Newton's second law of motion. He says which relates the acceleration with the forces. Due to the force exerted on the material, the deformation causes the fluid fluid particle to move. Science fluid kinematics viscosity, studying only motion without thinking of force. A clear concept of force and acceleration is necessary to understand the speed of the transmission. According to Newton's law of motion, Newton's second law of motion, force, force, equals mass times acceleration F equals M times A, F equals force, M equals mass. A equals acceleration. It is usually the practice of using M, mass, in the pursuit of force for a solid. But the Greek letter pi is used for fluid fluid particulars. The actual force applied to a particular solution according to Newton's rule net force, its product of force and acceleration is equal to product. Thus the fluid has viscosity. But to develop equations of motion, the equation is considered inviscid. In reality, no true view is devoid of real fluid. But other factors such as pressure force. Pressure force and gravity force Since the viscous effect is insignificant relative to the gravitational force, it can be ignored, and in doing so, there is no possibility of major impairment. One fact should be noted that in some cases, the force of prudence may also be important. For example, glycerin cannot be ignored when a fluid flows into an arrow tube or flows between two adjacent surfaces. Since air tightness is extremely low in air motion, it can be easily ignored, 
but the fact that air is compressible cannot be ignored. Assuming that the pressure of convection is caused by gravitational force, the equation can be written as follows, dynamic vs kinematic viscosity. Actual tension force on gravity plus gravitational force equals volume of force exits acceleration net pressure force on a fluid particle plus net gravity force on a fluid particle equals particle mass particle acceleration. T equals x do dy do dy equals constant of proportionality equals dynamic viscosity t equals coefficient Euler's equation of motion equation of motion Euler's equation of motion 1 slash p times dp ds equals v times dv ds P equals density of fluid. D equals cross-sectional area of this fluid element. DS equals length of this fluid element. DW equals weight of this fluid element. P equals pressure on this element at A. P plus DP equals pressure on this element at B. V equals velocity of this fluid element. Bernoulli's equation from real fluid P plus 1 half times P times V times V plus P times G times H equals constant. P equals pressure on the element at AP equals density of fluid V equals velocity H equals elevation G equals gravitational elevation. What is kinematic viscosity? Kinematic viscosity, defined as the ratio of the dynamic viscosity, mass viscosity, of a fluid mathematically, Kinematic viscosity equals dynamic viscosity, density, D equals kinematic viscosity equals dynamic viscosity, D equals density equals D type of kinematic viscosity flow. Steady and unsteady flows. Uniform and non-uniform flows. Laminar and turbulent flows. Compressible and incompressible flows. Rotational and irrotational flows. One, two, and three-dimensional flows. Steady and unsteady flow. Steady flow, the type of flow in which the fluid properties remains constant with time. UVW equals 0 dV dt equals 0 dV ds equals 0. dV equals change of velocity. dt equals time. DS equals length of flow in the direction S. Unsteady flow, type of flow in which the fluid properties changes with time. DV DT, 0 DV DS equals 0. DV equals change of velocity. DT equals time. DS equals length of flow in the direction S. Uniform and non-uniform flows. Uniform flows a type of flow in which velocity pressures, density, temperature, etc. 
At only give time does not change with respects to scope. DVDS equals zero. DPDS equals zero. DV equals change of velocity. DT equals time. DS equals length of flow in the direction S. Non-uniform, velocity, pressures, density, etc. at give time change with respect to space DVDS. 0, DPDS equals 0. Laminar and turbulent flows. Laminar flow defined as that type of flow in which the fluid particles move along well-defined paths or streamline, and all the streamline is strength and parallel. Laminar flow is also called viscous flow or stream. This type of flow is only possible at slow speed and in a viscous fluid. Turbulent flow in which fluid particles more irregularly and disorderly, i.e., fluid particles move in a zigzag way. The zigzag irregularly of fluid properties is responsible for high energy loss. Compressible and incompressible flows Compressible flow type of flow in which the density of the fluid changes from point to point or in other words, the density, P, is not constant for the fluid. Thus, mathematically, for compressible flow P, constant incompressible flow, type of flow in which the density is constant fluid flow. Liquids are generally incompressible then gases are compressible. Mathematically, for incompressible flow P equals constant. Rotational and irrotational flows Rotational flow, that type of flow in which the fluid particles, while flowing along streamlines, also rotate about their own axis. Aerotational flows, fluid particles while flowing along stream lines, not rotate about their own axis then that type of flow is called aerotational flow. 1, 2, and 3 dimensional flow. 1 dimensional. This is the flow in which the flow parameter such as velocity is a function of time, and one space CO ordinates only, say axis X. For a steady one-dimensional flow in direction, the velocity is a function of one space and coordinate only. The variant of velocities in additional two mutually perpendicular directions is assumed negligible. Hence mathematically, for one-dimensional flow U equals F, X, V equals zero and W equals zero where U, V, and W are velocity components in X, Y and Z directions respectively. Two-dimensional flow That kind of flow in which the velocity is a function of time and two rectangular space coordinates say and y. For a steady two-dimensional flow, the velocity is a function of two space coordinates only. The variation of velocity in that third direction is negligible. Thus, mathematically for two-dimensional flow U equals phi, x, y, V equals F2, x, y, and W equals zero. 
three-dimensional flow. That kind of flow where the velocity is a function of time and also three mutually perpendicular directions. However, to get a constant three-dimensional stream, the fluid parameters are functions of three space coordinates, x, y, and z, only. Thus, mathematically, for three-dimensional flow u equals phi, x, y, z, v equals f2, x, y, z, and w equals f3, x, y, z. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.